I'm Mark Gordon. Bill Pearson. How you doing? My wife, Rachel. Hi. Huh? Son, Billy. Oh, my partner, Jonathan Smith, waiting for you inside. Well, why don't you go on in? Okay. okay. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, Howard? This is Brad. I think this neighborhood has itself one big problem. Morning. Oh, good morning. I'm Brad Bauman, Select Realty. Oh, Jonathan Smith. Uh, this is this is Dr. William Martin. Uh, Dr. Mark Gordon. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. So you gentlemen are new neighbors? No, no, I'm afraid not. We're just the real estate brokers. We represent the company that transferred the Barnetts. Oh, really? Why all the furniture? Well, the boss, uh, the boss asked us to house it until we finalize the sale. Good idea, but you won't need any, any help selling this house. By the way, it's strange, but I usually know when every house is listed. <laughs> I don't understand how this one got by me. Well, I guess we just had the inside track this time. Mr. Gordon, which bedroom you want this dresser in? I'll show you. Well, this Mission Estates area's really grown, hasn't it? By leaps and bounds, Mr. Smith. This has become one of the most desirable places to live in the entire state. But then, as, uh, as president of the Homeowners Association, I, I may be a bit prejudiced. Uh, it's a lovely place to live, there's no doubt about it. And we like to keep it that way, Mr. Smith. I beg your pardon? But we here in the Mission Estates have, uh, shall we say, certain standards. That is, we, we pride ourselves in only attracting the right type of people, if you know what I mean. Brad? You've got a phone call. Be right there. Got to go. Good luck with your sale. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, uh, if you need any help, Mr. Smith, please don't hesitate to ask. My house is across the street. Very kind of you, Doctor. Have a good day. Same to you. Dr. Martin's our assignment, right, Kimasabi? That's right. But then again, so are his neighbors. His neighbors? How come? Because Mission Estates only attracts the right kind of people. If you know what I mean. Louise? John Gunn wants to trade me his Pedro Guerrero and his Steve Sachs for my Reggie Jackson. You tell him to throw in Fernando and he's got a deal. That sounds fair. What sounds fair? 
getting three Dodgers for one Angel. One ex-Angel, Bobby. Hmm, maybe I better hang on to my Reggie Jackson. Well, Louise, Mrs. Gunn will be carpooling Bobby today. I have to play in a tennis tournament at the club. Aw, oh, gee, Mom, that's no fair. I have to go to school and you get to play tennis all day. Believe me, sweetie, I wouldn't be playing in this tournament if your father hadn't insisted on it. Oh, now, 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 it can't be that bad. Yeah? Why don't you take my place? Oh, honey, I would, except you look so much better in that dress than I do. Oh, very funny. Penny, you're the wife of a very successful doctor. Mm. The people in Mission Estates expect you to participate in these kind of functions. It's sort of an unwritten rule. I know, but there's no rule that says I have to like it. That's my girl. Gotta run. Clinic day today, so I'll be late. I love you. Now, Jennifer, I want to see you again next Friday, same time. All right, doctor, and thanks. You're welcome. That's the sample medicines you wanted to take with you? Thank you, Maggie. Now, you be careful down there, and remember to lock your car. I will. And please, whatever you do, try to leave that clinic before it gets dark. Maggie, I've been going down to that clinic for a long time now, and nothing's ever happened. Well, maybe so, but you know what's happening down there. It's becoming one of those, what do you call it? A barrio? Yes, that's it. All those illegals and blacks. I mean, Doctor, you can't trust any of those people. I'll see you tomorrow, Maggie. I'll see you tomorrow. La está en la botella. María tiene que tomarlos dos veces cada día y se va a sentir mejor. Sí, doctor. Y muchas gracias. De nada. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. You're welcome, María. Buenas tardes. They say that this is what it's all about. Right, amigo? Yeah, I guess it is. That's why I keep coming back here. And here all this time, I thought you were just like me. Yeah, you've lost me. Hey, look, I've got a real nice practice uptown. But coming down here once a week helps me get rid of the guilt I feel for doing so well. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I do. I mean, these people see me down here once a week and they say, isn't that Dr. Cooper nice? He's giving a little something back. Hey, man, the truth is, I'm just balancing the scales. I've been playing baseball ever since I got home from school. Oh, is that so? I hope you don't mind us helping Bobby with his pitching. Oh, no, not at all. You must be the temporary neighbors my husband told me about. That's right. I'm Jonathan Smith, my partner, Mark Gordon. Hello, Hi. I'm Penny Martin. Nice to meet you. Hi. Guess what, Mom? Mark said he'd practice with me anytime he has the time. Isn't that neat? Well, yes, honey, but I don't want you to take advantage. Oh, no, no, no. It's no bother at all. Fact is, you've got yourself quite a ball player here. Oh, guess what? He's going to teach me how to throw a snake ball. What? Mrs. Martin, you really don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, is it okay if they stay for dinner? Oh, gee, honey, I think I should check with Louise because she's... Mrs. Martin, I'd just soon take a rain check on that. Thank you. Well, maybe some other time. Of course. See you tomorrow, Bobby. Yes, yeah, so long. Uh, excuse me, Mark, Jonathan. If you'd reconsider that rain check, we would love you to have dinner with us tonight. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Great. We'll see you around 7. 7 it is. Thanks, Mom. Oh, OK, Mr. Baseball Player. Come on.
Ay, Guillermo. Ay, cuánto has tardado. Oh. Ay, how come you're so late? Oh. Perdón, mamá. I'm just so busy in la clínica. Ah, uh, you work too hard. Ese trabajo te está matando. No. You never leave any time for yourself. Mamá, un doctor has to work hard if he's going to be any good. Ah, bueno, then you must be the best doctor in the whole world. <laughs> oh, es usted una maravilla. Something smells very good. <laughs> siéntate, siéntate. I fixed you some food. ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Todo igual. <sighs> La señora Ortiz came by to see me the other day. Oh. Sí. Se ve lo más bien. Qué bueno. Sí. She asked about you. I told her you were too busy, and that's why I could only see you once a week. Mm. I hope you like this. Qué lindo. By the way, I, I asked La Señora Ramirez about getting me some more work at the agency. Mama. Pero Guillermo, Guillermo, I know how you feel about it, but I just like being busy. Besides that, it helps me to look younger. Hmm? Es para usted. Open it. Ay, pero hijo. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? What, you don't like the watch? <laughs> I already have a watch. It was your father's watch. Remember? Pero, hijo, ¿por qué te has puesto con eso? Mamá, you need one of your own. Pero, Guillermo, you're always buying me gifts. And it is not necessary. It is enough that you're paying for this house. Mamá, me da placer darle regalos. El problema es... you're just too stubborn to accept them. Mira, Guillermo. If you really want to give me a gift that, that I will cherish, el más hermoso regalo del mundo, get married. Give me a grandson that will carry on the Martinez name. I guess I'm not the only stubborn one. Now you put those things down right now. Louise, I'm going to help you with these dishes whether you like it or not. So someone please tell this gentleman who's in charge of this kitchen. Mark, I think you better come and have some coffee, huh? Louise, would you check on Bobby? He won't wash his hair unless you help him. Okay. You heard the doctor go have your coffee. Thank you. What a girl. Yes, she is. Louise is the best. I really don't know how we'd ever get along without her. How long has she been with you? Six years, uh, since we moved here six years ago. Oh, she is part of the family. Oh, more than you can imagine. See, Bill and I have lost our parents, and ever since Bobby was a baby, he's always looked to Louise to help fill the role of Grandma. How long ago did you lose your parents, Bill? Well, my father died when I was still in high school, and uh, my mother uh, passed away when I was back east to go into medical school. It's really a shame your mother died before she had a chance to see how well you've done. Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, you'll excuse me. I, I want to kiss Bobby goodnight before he falls asleep. See, we're sorry, Penny. I didn't realize Bill was still so upset about his mother's death. Oh, I'm sure he'll be all right, Jonathan. It's just that, uh, well, he doesn't like to discuss it with anyone. Not even me. Boy, 
hope you came back to help. How you doing? How am I doing? I'm doing terrible. That's how I'm doing. I mean, you want to show this house, and I got to do all the work. Well, just take it easy. I've got it all worked out. Of course, the stuff. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? I mean, one snap of those little fingers, and bingo, mucho clino. Mark, Mark, it's not the stuff. It's not. I'd like you to meet someone who's going to help us out for a while. Oh, uh, how do you do, Mrs. Uh... Anna. Anna Martinez. <laughs> how do you do? Uh, this, this is not really mine. It comes with the house. <laughs> I don't want to get my shirt dirty. <laughs> Yes? May I help you? Um, is, is, uh, Jonathan or Mark here? No, they're both gone for the afternoon. Are you the new owner? Me? No. No, I'm just here to help them get things in order. Uh, my name is Anna. Anna Martinez. Nice to meet you. I'm Bobby Martin. I live across the street. Oh, so you're Bobby. Uh, well, Mark left something for you. Please come in. This way. Will you look at this? You must be a pitcher, huh? Well, I want to be one. Oh, a pitcher needs strength. I have some homemade cookies in the kitchen. Want some? Yeah. What a some club, huh? That's uh, nice. All part of the package. Home ownership means you get a partnership here. Well, since we're temporary owners, I can use the time to get in shape. Mark, we don't have that much time. Oh, that's cute, Jonathan. <laughs> cute. Hey, Doc, take a little time off. Uh, Jonathan, Mark, please sit down. <laughs> How you fellas doing? Terrible. Bill just beat me straight set. I uh, just got some lucky breaks, Brad. So, you gentlemen have any sales prospects? Well, we've set up some appointments with people who are interested in the house. So you've met with people already? No, not as yet. Look, Jonathan, I make it a practice to meet with the prospective buyers before I show them the property. I find that it helps separate the window shoppers from the serious buyers. Oh, I see. I imagine that's why your firm has a history of quoting two different sets of prices. Well, there's no sense in having people buy where they can't afford. Or where they're not wanted, right, Mr. Bowman? Just remember, Mr. Gordon, it was you who said it, not me. If you will excuse me, gentlemen, I'm going to go shower. See you later, Bill. Right. <laughs> you know, Brad's not such a bad guy once you get to know him. Could have fooled me. Good night, Anna. Thanks very much. Well, Anna's quite a gal, isn't she? Yeah, she is. You live so far away, I'm surprised you couldn't find somebody closer. Yeah, well, I could have, but they wouldn't be as special as she is. What's so special about Anna? She's Bobby Martin's grandmother. I'm Mark Gordon. Bill Pearson. How are you doing? It's my wife, Rachel. Hi. Uh, son, Billy. Oh, my partner, Jonathan Smith, waiting for you inside. Hi, I'm Bobby. You want to play catch while they look at the house? Can I, Dad? Sure. Go ahead, son. Here's my glove, huh? Well, why don't you go on in? Okay. Right. Here you go. Yeah, Howard? This is Brad. 
I think this neighborhood has itself one big problem. As you can see, the rooms are all good size, nice high ceilings. Yeah. yeah. I think the house has a nice flow to it, nice and open. What do you think? Well, uh, it's really a nice house, Mrs. Smith. Um... Oh, Bill, this is exactly what we've been looking for. Look, I can make a really good deal on the house. My boss is anxious to sell. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Mr. Smith. Uh, give me a day or so to talk things over with my accountant, and uh, then I'll be in a better position to make you a good offer. Sounds fair enough. Yes, Howard, I did talk to the Smith character. I told him we had certain standards. Well, you're telling me. Wait a minute, they're coming out. I think the house got a lot of possibilities. I think it's wonderful. Love it. Dad, are we gonna buy the house? <laughs> uh, well, let's just say it's a real strong possibility, all right? <laughs> let's go. Okay. I'll get back to you. Thanks for the lift. All right. So we'll be waiting to hear from you. Believe me, you'll hear from me the minute we know. Well, I sure hope you move in. Me too. So long. If you have any okay, questions, bye. just give us a call, all right? Thanks okay. a lot. Have a good day. Bye. bye. You really like the house, huh? Are you kidding? This is at her way. They move in today. Smith! What do you think you're doing? Showing this house to those people? Yeah, well, I'm showing them the house because they're thinking about buying it. I thought I made it clear to you people that this development has certain standards, certain restrictions. Why are you so concerned about who buys this house? Let's just say I am merely an interested neighbor who's concerned about the future of my neighborhood. Oh, which means no black families, right, Brad? I didn't say that. There are fair housing laws. That which you've managed to manipulate to your advantage. Smith, look around this development. Count the minorities, OK? I mean, who are they going to socialize with? You'd be doing those people a favor by not selling it to them. Brad, if the Pearsons want to buy this house, then I'm going to sell it to them. <clears throat> you mean they, uh, they haven't made you an offer yet? No, not yet. Well, then the Homeowners Association We'll buy this house, and we'll pay the full asking price. Oh, no, wait a minute. You can't do that. No, I'm afraid he can, Mark. House is still on the market until a bona fide offer is made. Which I have just done. Now, I'll give you my personal check, which will hold this house until the board can vote its approval. Well, what makes you think they'll go along with it? Because uh, three of the five board members just happen to live on this block. I'll get your check, Smith. got backed up at the office, then I had to go make rounds at the hospital. Seems like you're getting home later and later. Hey, can I help it if everybody in Mission Estate wants me for their doctor? Well, I'm sure it's very flattering. But, Bill, look how many hours you have to work. Maybe you ought to think about cutting back just a little. Maybe spend less time at the clinic. Penny, I can handle it, okay? The office, the hospital, everything. I just need a little support at home. I'm sorry. I just work so hard because I want you and Bobby to have the best of everything. But, Bill, all you have to do is look around. You've already given us more than we could ever want. But, honey, at what point do you say enough is enough? Daddy? Bobby? What are you doing out of bed? I couldn't sleep. Honey, what's the matter? Well, today, these people came to look at uh, the house across the street, and they had a son named Billy. And I made friends with him, and we had a lot of fun playing together. And then his dad came out and said that they might buy the house. 
And me and Billy got really excited. Well, honey, that's good news. No, it isn't, Mom. Billy's family is black, and I heard Mr. Bowman tell Jonathan and Mark that nobody wanted those kind of people living around here. Oh, Bobby, you must have been mistaken. Uh, I have to meet Brad tomorrow. I'll, I'll find out exactly what happened. Listen, honey, everything is going to be just fine. You go on up to bed, okay? Okay. If it turns out true, does Louise have to go away? Of course not. Honey, everything's going to be okay. Just don't worry. Okay. Bill, I can't believe Brad would say something like that, especially in front of Bobby. Honey, relax. We don't know Brad said anything. What? You don't think Bobby would make something like that up, do you? All I'm saying is, let me talk to Brad before you start condemning him. All right? All right, fine. You talk to him. You hungry? Yeah. I made some stew. I'll heat it up. How would you feel if a black family moved next door? What do you mean, how would I feel? Well, wouldn't it bother you that moved out here, spent all this money, and then people like that moved next to us? Bill, I can't believe you'd ask a question like that. Why? Because that wasn't the reason I thought we moved out here in the first place. You didn't answer the question, Penny. All right. I'll give you an answer. It won't bother me whether the people next door turn out to be black, blue, or polka dot, because I plan on being a good neighbor to them, and I only hope they plan to do the same for me. Hi, Bill. Howard. Hi, Bill. Sit down. <sighs> Glad you could come. Well, Howard said it was important that we meet. Now, I've called an emergency meeting of the board of the Homeowners Association. It's imperative the three of us agree on what our strategy is going to be. Does this have to do with the house across the street from me? Well, yeah, sure. I thought you told him about this. No, I thought you did. Doesn't matter. I know what was said, Brad. My son told me. Now, it's important the association agree to purchase this property. That way we can determine who moves in. I don't know, Brad. It seems like an awfully expensive extreme. Martin, don't you see what can happen? If we let these people move in, it won't be long before Mission Estates is nothing but an expensive ghetto. Listen, Brad's right. Now, the board has to move quickly on this. It's the only way that we can make sure that the property values stay just the way they are. I mean... It's got nothing to do with being prejudiced. It's protecting an investment. Come on, Bill. You live in a house right across the street. I'm sure you want some say in who lives there, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I knew we could count on you. Now, you don't touch these, okay? I promised Mark he would have some all to himself. I know, he already warned me. You are the best cooking maker on this whole block. Even better than Louise. Oh, this uh, Louise, she's uh, your grandmother, is she? Nah, she's more like our housekeeper. My grandparents all died before I was born. Oh, well, that's too bad. But, but you, you still got her, no? Yeah. You have any grandchildren, Anna? No. 
My son is not married. <laughs> He's too busy trying to be the best doctor in the whole world. Hmm. My dad's a doctor, too. I guess all doctors have to work hard, because he never gets home early. <laughs> well, when my Guillermo finally gets around to giving me a grandson, I hope he's just like you. It's my dad. Maybe we can play some baseball. Oh, well, you better go find out. OK, thanks for the cookie. After Anna saw you with Bobby and Penny, she asked me to bring her home. She saw me with... That's impossible. She's been working for us, Bill, helping us get the house ready to sell. Dear God. So that's the Anna Bobby's been talking about. I never connected the name. How oh, neither did she until today. Of course, it's hard to connect William Martin and Guillermo Martinez if you don't know the other one exists. I have to see her. I have to talk to her. Where is she? She's gone. She made me promise not to tell you where. Jonathan, I have to talk to her. I told you I made her a promise. Jonathan, I'm her son. Oh, you bet you are. One day a week, you're her son. Ah, but the rest of the time, the rest of the time, you're the very successful Dr. William Martin, who lives in Mission Estates far away from his past and even farther from his heritage. I don't need any more of this. Oh, God, can't you see what you've done? You've denied both your families the chance to know each other, the chance to love each other. You think I don't know that? You think I don't feel the pain? Now, don't judge me, Smith. You don't know what it's like. I'm not judging you, and I do know. I know it's society that decides who succeeds and who fails and why. And without racial barriers and name categories, everybody would have the same chance. But, oh, society isn't going to let that happen. Not now, anyway. But maybe someday, if people will just stand up against that prejudice. You and I have a meeting to go to tonight. And I want to be there when they count the vote. Jonathan, did my mother say anything when she saw me with my family? She said she was happy that you had a son to carry on the family name. Now, all of you are aware of the purpose of this special meeting. As board president, I have committed the association to the purchase of the property in question and now request the board's approval for allocation of funds. Brad, there's a couple of us here that feel you've overstepped your authority by moving so quickly. I mean, this is a pretty delicate situation we have here. Yes, it is. And if this board doesn't move quickly and decisively, we will find ourselves in the middle of a nightmare. Gentlemen, 
This board owes Brad Bowman its gratitude for having the foresight to act so expediently in this matter. Therefore, I'd like to call for a vote. Thank you, Howard. Now, all those in favor of the purchase of the property, please signify by raising your hand. All those opposed to purchasing the property, signify by raising your hand. Well, it's a tie, Bill. It's up to you. Gentlemen, I will cast my vote, but first, I have something I want to say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is a closed meeting. Nobody ever said that, Bowman. They're welcome to be here. Thank you. <clears throat> when I, uh... When I first came here six years ago, I really thought I had found the end of the rainbow. Here was this pot of gold that was going to fulfill all my dreams, or so I thought. I was accepted immediately, but then why not? I was Dr. William Martin, who had come to start his new practice in beautiful Mission Estates. Ah, yes, beautiful Mission Estates perfectly planned community with nothing but the best schools, the best service, and of course, the best country club. Open to all those prospective home buyers who choose to live here. That is, if they qualify. Right, Brad? Make your point, Martin, so we can get on with the vote. You see, when I was in medical training, I realized that an intern with an Anglo name and Anglo looks always got the best references and the best patients. Well, I wanted the best. So I became one of you. And the minute I changed my name to Martin, the world welcomed me with open arms. Even Mission Estates loves me. For nine years, I have denied my own heritage just because I wanted to be accepted. I've deceived my wife, my mother, and my son. But I can't do that anymore. I was born Guillermo Martinez. And starting today, I am proudly returning to that name. I vote against buying this property. A lot of people I need forgiveness from. But right now, I need yours most of all. Brad, we still have your deposit. So technically, the deal still stands. Smith, uh, <clears throat> a 
I can't afford to pay for that house by myself. Does that mean you're withdrawing your offer? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I am. Good night. Oh, Senor Smith. Would you tell Anna I'm here, please? Oh, she's in the backyard. Oh, thank you very much. see me right now. But there's two people that I want you to meet. Grandma Anna. 